Hello. If you're rejoining us, thank you for coming back and watching again. Hope you're going to enjoy today's episode. If you're new here, you might want to go back to the start of the series. Look for the playlist below. But before you go, leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all that's going on in this channel. New episodes, new series, etc., etc. Today we have an FA Cup first round tie and continue on reasonable form in the Vanarama National League. Plus, we've got a couple of new recruits. Welcome to the bottom to the top. Hello and welcome to episode 13 of From the Bottom of the Top. My name's Mark. And on today's episode, we have games against Barrow in the FA Cup first round and Hereford in the Vanarama National League North. Uh, there is the FA Cup uh, screen for you, and you can see uh, what's going on there. Just realised that the uh, other camera wasn't in the right position, so I had to very quickly put it in the right position. <laughs> right position. Uh, yes, this is the FA Cup first round, and... Uh, the uh, League One, League Two uh, teams are in the pot here um, as it stands. And, uh, well, there's a mixture there. We went through the draw. We won't go through it again. Uh, I did mention in the preamble that we have got some new recruits. We sure have. Uh, I think we have mentioned um, previously. Um, I'm not quite sure who we saw come in on the last uh, episode. It might have been Ronan Hughes that joined us. Uh, but since then, Jim Kellerman and Will Russ have both joined us. Um, just to recap then, uh, Ronan Hughes is a central midfielder, can play in a Carrillo, uh, Carrillo and a box-to-box -box midfielder, ball-winning midfielder. He can also play, which is uh, possibly where we will uh, use him a little bit more than, I don't know, it's difficult to say. Luke Williams uh, is quite good in that slot, so he might end up in midfield as well, but can play as a shadow striker, advanced playmaker, etc. in the attacking midfield uh, role as well. Um, lost sight of him. He's uh, currently three and a half star current ability, 23 years old, has potential to be four and a half star ability. He signed with us until the end of the season. Um, hopefully, if we get promoted, he will stay with us, assuming he does well, of course. Uh, Jim Kellerman, he is a midfielder as well, can play midfield or defensive midfield role. Currently three and a half star, um, potential ability is four star. He's a little bit older, 27 years old, but got a little bit of experience there. Um, he is a ball winning midfielder, can play a box to box midfielder as well. If we have a quick look, can we have a look at Jim Kellerman, please? Um, he has been, well, started off his career in Wolves, he's been older shots at Mirren Fylde, um, Kidderminster, uh, Chesterfield, and then has ended up uh, with us. Um, and then we have brought in another striker, which is upset. Um, Simpson, um, Simpson, he's upset our, um, our current striker, Jimmy Spencer. And um, he's he's got a bit of a grump up on. And so are some of the other players. So uh, we're going to have to uh, switch them around a little bit. But as you can see, he has a huge, a huge amount of ability. He's got four and a half stars currently. Um, could potentially be a five starer. He's a star player. We couldn't really resist. He's uh, he was released by Leicester. I have a feeling that we actually schmoozed him originally um, to come in, and he didn't want to come in. He thought he'd uh, be uh, getting swept up by uh, uh, um, a league side or somebody. Anyway, he ended up as a free agent. Uh, we latterly brought him in um, on trial, and he has now actually finally signed for us. And I believe let's just check. He has actually signed a two-year, well, the rest of this season and, and another season deal um, for £250 a week. Um, I'm hoping he will be useful, but certainly at this level, I'm not too sure as we go up through the leagues whether he, he will uh, continue to be um, that person that uh, is of good use to us. Uh, since you were last with us, Spennymore and Alfreton, a 3-2 win against Spennymore, which was a great win. Uh, but at that boring 1-1 draw with Alfreton, um, where we uh, we lost that goal late in the game. Um, it wasn't that 
late, it was 33 minutes, but we couldn't seem to pull anything out of the bag, and hence why we brought in these extra players. Uh, but we have gone out and played at Bradford Park Avenue and really sort of like threw down the gauntlet. Ronan Hughes getting his debut go. Well, his debut he wasn't on his debut, but he's got his first goal for us after 22 minutes. Will Hayhurst after 25. Uh, Will Russ getting one on his debut after 34 minutes. And Adam Clayton rounding off a 4-1 win after uh, 94 minutes, four minutes into injury time. And uh, it was a resounding win, a uh, consolation goal, a minute into injury time in the first half for uh, Bradford Park Avenue. So as you'll see, stats-wise, um, was quite 22 shots, 11 of which were on target. So we really were uh, hammering away there at that one. And it leaves us second in the table, only on goal difference. Uh, equal everything else to Gateshead who are in front uh, with 25. They've got seven goals on front on us at the moment, but uh, things can turn around quickly, as we know. So it will be intriguing second game of the episode. We'll also check who Gateshead have in that second game of the episode. Um, if we can have a look. Who Gateshead play? They're not playing there. They're not playing there. So we'll play Hereford. Gateshead are away to Staleybridge. Daily Bridge are on the bottom. I think we know where that's going. We just need to uh, score more goals than what Gateshead do and hopefully uh, punch a hole in that goal difference. Right, without any more said to do, let's get on with the episode. It's uh, a game in the uh, first round proper of the FA Cup against Barrow um, of League. Let's just check actually which league are they in? Are they League One? Uh, Barrow, here we go. Um, I don't know, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, they're in League 2, uh, currently residing at the bottom or near the bottom, 22nd in League 2. Um, so, uh, well, we'll see. There's, there's a, there's a chasm, uh, there is a whole league in between us. So uh, who knows where this goes, but if we can get round to the second round of the FA Cup, might be some money. This is the team for this one. Smith in goal. Denton on the left-hand side. Denton still not playing well. I would have dropped him today, but uh, we uh, we don't really have a half-decent left-back. Um, well, not a, a wing-back. So I think that's going to be our next um, uh, look in the low market because we really can't afford to bring anybody else in now, um, having brought these three in. Um, so we're going to have to really look and delve deep in the... Uh, in the low market and see if we can get a decent uh, wing back on the left side because Denton really isn't doing it and he's not got a huge amount of competition which doesn't really mean that he needs to try either. Alan and Clayton beside him. Uh, Clayton's in because uh, God's Mark Ford um, is suspended after picking up two yellows in the previous rounds. Uh, Sam's is out on the right. Um, I'm not sure that's the best position for him and I'm not sure why we haven't got Turner in there. Why is Turner not playing there, guys? Is it because Turner's tired? I think he could be. Hmm. It's not good either. Uh, do we play Turner in there? That's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going to put Turner in there, and then uh, if we need to, we'll bring Sam's on and move Clayton out, I think. Can Clayton play out there? I don't think he can, actually. Wing back right. Hmm. That's one that we need to have a good look at and see what's uh, what's going on there. Uh, right, so Turner's in there. Hughes and Kellerman, as we mentioned, potentially could play alongside one another in that midfield role. Um, Mazala's not the best role for him, though, is it? Um but we don't want to mess around with the tactics too much. So that's where he's going to be. Kellerman, um, in fact, is he better as a box-to-box? -box? He is. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to swap them two over. Because, if you look at that now, that's huge in midfield. Hayhurst out on the left. Williams, uh, as mentioned in the attacking uh, mid central midfield role. Grattan on the right-hand side would normally play on the left. Uh, but uh, also suspended, I think, if my memory serves him right, is um, is um, yeah, 
it, it's not good. The memories, the memories going. Hang on a minute. Hales Doherty. Yeah, that's who it is. He's suspended as well, so that's uh, that's why he's out on the bench. I've just realised that Tom Allen isn't uh, isn't one hundred percent either. So I'm not sure this is a good idea. We've got players that are tired going into this match. I think we've been uh, been slam dunked a little bit by the um, by the fact that um, we got a couple of suspensions, which hasn't helped us at all. So we could uh, we could be in a little bit of trouble here as time goes on um, if we're not careful. So this is the game, or that is the team to play Barrow, and the teams are out on the pitch. A game will be underway imminently i'm going to say imminently shortly or whatever but we are underway and uh up and running not a lot happening in the first 15 minutes we have had a couple of shots but nothing on target as yet denton having said that he's uh, been playing up oh no he's going down again that's right hit the green for a while we have a or oh, they have a corner so we need to be defending this boys Swings in and said, "Ah, oh, Banks on the uh, on the near post, and he's uh, that's headed." But Smith will have that hit the uh, hit the post. Didn't go out though. We'll see it again now. In low, it's flicked on. That's a dangerous. Um, that's a dangerous set piece that they've got there, isn't it? They're flicking it on. Denton, he's picked up a yellow card, so he'll be getting a a ban because I think he was on. Warning anyway. And they've gone always all the way back to the goalkeeper. Cross in, it's headed in, it's a goal. After 31 minutes, and Mansell is the scorer. We go a goal down. Clayton also picked up a yellow card, I notice. See makes the cross turner not close enough to him and smith left clutching at thin air right i think it's time we dropped a bit of encouragement might just be playing at a side that are a little bit bit better than us anyway things can turn around grattan two williams from a throw in from turner he's given that ball away I need to do silly things like that, boys. Clayton to Smith. We build from the back. Clayton. Hughes, who's a long way back. Williams. Hughes. Back to Allen. Hughes. Williams. Back to Clayton. Williams. Looking for a way through. Hughes. Williams. Turner, it's gone out wide. Russ is in. He scored. And Will Russ gets his second of the game. Well, not his second of the game. I was telling lies. His second since he joined us. And it is 1 1. Hellerman, lovely head on to Russ. And uh, Russ just sort of like got himself sized up. That's what we've brought him in for. That's what Spencer wasn't doing um and he'll be grumbling in the background i can hear him now i'm oh, 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 getting no game time oh. half time comes it's 1-1 one, one. will russ after 40 minutes uh lewis mansell taking the lead for barrow after 32 uh we've had nine shots four of which are on target 0.78 barrow have had eight shots five on target but only have an xg of 0.23 um, and we've had 62% of the possession. At the minute, we are the better side. And it's Will Russ getting us underway for this second half. Back to Kellerman. No changes at half time. And uh, it was good to get that goal late on in the second half, in the first half, and uh, puts us back on level terms. We've gone back to the goalkeeper. He's fired that forward. Clayton should have been under that, but Alan is there to tidy up. That was a bit of a worry. Fired it back to Smith, headed down by Russ, but uh, didn't get it through to Williams, I think, which was his design. Alan tidying up. Kellerman 
Hughes certainly got to control that midfield. Bratton tried to fire it out for Turner, but I'm not sure if Turner thought he was offside. And as we come down to our normal time for having a look at changes, let's have a look and see some tired legs out there. Will Hayhurst is. Luke Parkin can come on for him. The question is, do we switch? I think possibly we do. Can we switch these two over? As an inverted winger. And oh, 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 parking as a winger. Right, who else needs a change? Hopefully, Jacob Gratton will pick up. Ronan Hughes and Kellerman both tied in midfield there. Tempted to leave them on for a little bit longer. Tom Allen, as we suspected, is tired. Um, I'm suggesting bringing on David Sayers in his place. That's what we will do. We'll do that for now. We'll pump fists and we will tell them they have faith in them. Get out there and do. Turner with the free kick then. Hughes. Parkin. Back to Hughes. Hughes to Clayton. Clayton to Sayers. Sayers to Russ. Kellerman. Williams. Hughes fan out to Turner. Uh, he's gone out wide. Parkin. Crosses the ball deep. It's a headed uh, Kellerman. Just over. Directed that header towards goal. And I think there was a... Probably a few hearts in mouths from the Barrow uh, players there for a second or two. We have a corner parking. It's a goal. Adam Clayton has it. And it is uh, the watch the linesman run away. And uh, it is definitely a goal. 2-1 against Barrow. 78 minutes. Took a while to get in there, but uh, it was uh, one of our corners that we uh, we like to uh, to give. Oh, they have a free kick now. We have to be careful here. They've equalised. Uh, George Saunders. No, he's offside. Thank goodness for that. Uh, Kellerman is tired now. We might do a substitution there. 85 minutes. I'll see this offside here now. Yeah, he's offside, definitely. And uh, thankfully, we caught them out on the offside trap. Right, Clayton, the next break. Russ heads it down. Gratton has got it. And uh, can Gratton, what's Gratton going to do here? He's passed it back to uh, Kellerman and given it away. Ah, Come on, Turner, get out. Oh, Turner should have gone out there. See, made us pay before. And it's gone. Ooh. Right. Let's make that tactical change while we can. Um, Kellerman is going to come off anyway. Kellerman comes off. Marcus Wood comes on. Hughes will drop back into this defensive midfield role. Uh, Williams is going to drop in there. It's not his best position, but uh, he'll drop in there as a... Ball winning midfielder, we'll put him in there as support. And we're going to change down to balanced and see if we can see this game out. This was 
Turner should have gone out for that. C making the cross and Saunders pumps it back into the area, but uh, thankfully the Barrow boys whacked it over the top. Five minutes of injury time. And full time comes. We have beaten Barrow by two goals to one. Um, 17 shots, seven of which were on target, 1.29 on the XG. Uh, Barrow did come back into it, but we uh, I think we just done enough. 64% possession. I think that's probably where we won it. 18 shots they had, 10 of which were on target, 1.03, 36% of the possession. Uh, we will uh, we will pause and we'll come back. I think we come back before our next game uh, with the second round draw. So we'll have the second round draw coming next. So here we are for the draw for the second round. Yes, we're through to the second. Oh, this is the uh, FA Trophy, I've just realised. Second round of the FA Trophy. I'm sure we've got the... Um, We've got the draw for the uh, FA Cup as well. Right, I'm not going to mess around with this for too long. Let's see who we play in the uh, FA Trophy. I really whiz through this. There we go. We got Telford from the uh, uh, from the Vanarama National League North as well. We'll get all those out. In fact, let's draw all the teams now. We'll do that. So that's uh, that one. Oh, we got there in the end. So both the uh, second round draws are on the same day. So here we are for the FA Cup and uh, teams of note still in here. Wimbledon, Bolton, uh, Charlton, uh, Cheltenham, Exeter, Fleetwood, Derby, Forest Green, Ipswich, um, Lincoln, Milne Keynes, Dons, uh, Portsmouth. I, to be honest, I think we'll go with any of the League One, um, League One or League Two teams uh, to earn us a little bit of money away from home would be good. Where we've got a big ground as well, that would be very, very good. Right, let's have the draw then. Harrogate versus Shrewsbury, Bristol Rovers versus Wimbledon, Exeter versus Leighton Orient. A lot of League One, League Two com uh, coming out here. Kidderminster, the first Vanarama. They're going to get Derby away from her, uh, home. Could be a good match. Bromley versus Grimsby. Chorley versus Lincoln. Northampton versus M Milton Keynes Dons. Woking versus Oldham. Boreham Wood versus Stockport. Crewe versus Walsall. Stevenage versus Charlton. Forest Green. That'll do us. Salford. Plymouth against Wickham. Farsley were at home again against York. That's because the York manager came to see us on the last match. And not the draw we wanted, really. But we may stand a chance of getting through to the third round proper. That would be something out of the ordinary. And then we we're in really in with the big boys. Get a damn good hiding but uh might be in for a decent pot of money who knows how will that uh turn out episode wise um don't know yet um i think we may have a cup episode next time round because uh telford on the 26th of november i think the fa cup is on the 3rd of december we'll find out um shortly Indeed, there is confirmation Saturday, 3rd of December. So it will be a cup episode next time around. Uh, right, without any more to do, the second game of the episode, it's a Vanarama National League North game against Hereford. And this is the team that will face uh, Hereford for our second match of the episode. Smith in goal, Denton, Allen, Clayton and Godsmout Ford Back from his suspension in the FA Cup. Kellerman and Hughes continue in that midfield. Hayhurst, Williams and Hales Doherty are attacking midfield. Russ continues upfield. Carter, Sams, Atkinson, Grattan and Spencer. And Spencer's gnashing of his teeth is getting louder by the minute. In a huddle on the pitch. Ready to start the match. 
and we are underway. Quite sure what's going on here. Free kick to Hereford, who are playing in yellow kit. That's gone wide from Pinchard. Hereford, I think, has, used to be known as Hereford United until they went bust. And uh, they reincarnated themselves simply as Hereford. They have a corner now. Pinchard with the corner. It's crossed in. It's gone over the top. And a goal kick. Living dangerously. Pretty much even Stevens up until now. Half an hour gone. Let's drop a little bit of encouragement. Not really seen a great deal of anything happening. And half time comes. Not a great deal has happened. Seven shots, one on target, 0.74. 63% possession against Hereford's three shots, one on target. And 37% possession. Let's hope for a better second half. And Russ gets us under, underway. Back to Kellerman. No changes at half time. Hughes and God's Mark Ford. Luke Williams Hughes looking for a bit of space. Kellerman tries to flush it through to Russ. But Doyle shielded the ball. And they're looking for one over the top. Clayton heads it down, but only into the path of right. And Hayhurst fouls. Didn't get a yellow card for it, thankfully. But they do have a free kick. Dangerous position. Swings it out wide. Godsmart Ford is out there. Pinchard. He's been a bit of a pain in the proverbial. Kellerman. Hales Doherty. Are we on a break here? No. Russ. Not doing anything. Well, he's not having such a good day today, is he? Had a couple of good games since he came in. Spencer will be rubbing his hands. Thinking, I've got a chance to get back in here. And you may well have. 60 minutes gone. I've just realised why. We're on balanced. This is a positive moment. Let's up, up the ante. We've, we've gone somewhere wrong there. Alan looking tired. And we are into change time. Kellerman is tired in that midfield again. He needs to build up a bit of uh, momentum. Hales Doherty not having a good time out on that right-hand side. And Jacob Grattan's going to come on for him. Let's change one. Tom Allen. Tom Sams. We'll stop at that for the minute. Aware that Kellerman is tired. Oh. And we forget to uh, confirm the substitution. It does a wonky. Right. Hayhurst on the ball now. Can we get this in? Hayhurst. Looking for a cross. He crosses it in. It's cleared. Only far as Sam's. Kellerman. Luke Williams. Hughes. Russ. Russ has a shot from distance. It's only just gone wide. Could be a nil-nil draw. And against Hereford, we'd have expected a win. Right. Kellerman's tired. We bring Atkinson on for him. Hereford had done a defensive on this. Atkinson tidying that up, though. Sam's Clayton. It's not over yet. Atkinson. Hayhurst. Denton. 
Hayhurst. Atkinson. Back to Denton. Denton. All the way back to Smith. Sams. We build again. Looking for another way through. Clayton. Smith. Still not finding our way through. Sams. They've been very rigid in defence of Hereford. Sams. Atkinson. Denton. Hayhurst. Atkinson. Back to Hayhurst. Hayhurst. Atkinson's gone on a bit of a run. Can he cross this in? He can. It's Russ. His third goal of the season. And we get a goal two minutes into injury time with three on the clock. We may have just got it. Just all of a sudden, we've put it together. And ball across the front of the... Uh, Of the area however we have a highlight from kickoff which uh, is always a bit of a worry gonna launch this one long and well, they're not i thought he was going to launch that long given that uh, there wasn't a lot left god smart forward heads it down through to russ but russ isn't going to get there russ looking a bit rusty and tired hughes god smart forward williams gratton and we have a 2-0 win not expected and both in injury time but just shows we don't give up there's godsmart ford getting his head to that luke williams gratton and uh gratton who hasn't been doing a great deal he's put that one away and they have a corner can they get one back here Oof, just wider that post And it's all over. I could say, without a word, I think Hereford were unlucky there, really. Um, we had 18 shots, six of which were on target, 1.69, 61% uh, possession against Hereford's eight shots, three on target, 0.38, 39% of the possession. Let's have a look, see what it's done to the table. Well, with Gateshead drawing 1-1 against Staley Bridge, Bottom of the table, Staley Bridge. We go top. For the first time this season, we've gone top. 37 points from 16 matches, 11 wins, 4 draws. We've only lost that one match against Fylde. Uh, a 2-0 loss um, a while back now, but um, knowing the goal difference of 20. Um, so we're happy with that. Um, we'll uh, we'll live with the uh, the the dropout of that. So uh, yes, top of the table. Um, we can have a quick look if we go in here. I think if we have a look at past positions and Farsley, can we? There we go. As you'll see, that's the first time we've hit the the pinnacle. We've been in second a couple of times and then dropped back. Bit of a run, but uh, we're on the upward trajectory as far as that's concerned. So now we need to start opening a, a decent gap between ourselves and the uh, the chasing pack, as it were. So we're on 37 points. Then comes Gateshead on 35, Kidderminster 35. Um, basic goal difference uh, change there. Three points clear of Spennymore in fourth. Then come Gloucester on 31. Sorry. Uh, Alfreton on 28. And Telford are uh, on 27 so a good 10 points clear of the um last team in the playoffs so that's where we are guysley bradford park avenue warrington and staley bridge in the drop zone as it currently stands so we're going well what does the next episode hold for us then well we're going to play uh brackley chester and blythe off of camera and we'll come back for a cup double, a second round of the FA Trophy against Telford and a second FA Cup round. Let's have a little club vision. Where do they want us to uh, achieve? Fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. So we've beaten that. Uh, and the third round of the FA Trophy should be all right. Um, keep our fingers crossed um, and see how we get on with that. Right, we hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. Uh, new episodes are from the bottom to the top, currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. 
If you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel and more, why not follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you for the next episode. It will be episode 14. It's out on Thursday. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>